Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Decoded. Today, I'm not gonna solve any lead code daily problem with you. Rather, this brings me to the inception of the first video on low level system design course. And we will be talking about the most important principle of low level system design, which is solids. Specifically, we'll talk about the S in solid, which signifies single responsibility. It will not only help you guys from interviews perspective, but rather turn you guys into better engineers. So you will be able to correlate more with code after going through today's video. So without further ado, put your hands together for none other than Sanchit Dudeja working at SD4 at Adobe and has total of seven plus years of experience and counting. Most engineers consider lower level system design a tough nut to crack. The reason being, they directly jump onto the code, they try to reverse engineer it and then develop their fundamental knowledge, which is absolutely wrong. And you will see this highly there on YouTube as well. Personally, I don't profess it. Rather, we will first try to understand the fundamentals fully and then only we will try to implement those fundamentals and with create a picture of our code. So without further ado, let's quickly move on to a real life example through which we will understand single responsibility principle. Let me ask you guys a question, which is your favorite evening snack? And I'm pretty sure that most of the girls are gonna say Pani Puri. I also like it. A few days back, a new Pani Puri vendor set up his stall near my house and let's try to analyze what kind of responsibilities does this Pani Puri bhaiya perform. So bhaiya takes care of preparing Pani Puris. That means he's acting as the chef. He takes care of procurement and setting up the logistics needed for selling Pani Puris. So the second responsibility that this bhaiya performs is logistics. He also takes care of placing, uh, receiving the orders from the folks. So he is also acting as the order placement system. And finally, he's giving away the Pani Puris to the customers. That means he's taking care of delivery. There are other responsibilities as well of this Pani Puri Bhaiya, like distributing pamphlets and all that contributes to marketing. But let's reduce the scope of our problem statement to these four primary responsibilities. Now, if I ask you guys that if you have to think of these responsibilities in terms of code, how will it look like? Let's walk through it. A naive developer will come and he will create an order placement helper method, which will basically ask the number of plates that has been requested by the customer and it will return back an integer value that represents the order ID. The second job of our bhaiya is to prepare food. So he's acting as a chef and he, therefore this to happen, we have exposed a method prepare food for given order that basically uh, request you to pass in the order ID and return a Boolean value that signifies the status of your order whether it has been prepared or not. The third functionality that this bhaiya performs is delivery. It also accepts order ID and it returns back the delivery ID back to the caller method. The last responsibility that this bhaiya takes care of is logistics. And under this, we have two methods exposed, procure raw material. And the second one is list of raw materials needed. It basically accepts an enum value that represent all the raw material needed by this bhaiya to prepare Pani Puris. I have kept this as simple as possible so that you guys get a good hold of the concept. For the bhaiya, Pani Puri business started to flourish. A lot of customers started visiting him for the lovely Pani Puris, including myself. Bhaiya Singh, such a lovely response, started procuring raw material in huge number. However, Bhaiya couldn't sustain this business. 
do you know the reason why because he failed to manage the incoming load and scale of the entire system whatever raw material he procured there was a bug in the ata as a result of which all the procured resources turned waste at other times pani puri bhaiya himself turned ill and there was no other person to shoulder all the responsibilities that he was performing in the past seeing this all the customers starting visiting other pani puri bhaiyas in the nearby places once you lose a customer they are never going to come back and the same concept applies to enterprise you must have heard of orkut when facebook came which was better in content then all the orkut users moved on to facebook for better facilities and this rule applies everywhere the survival of the fittest the same analogy applies to code as well let's hypothetically assume that a naive developer directly out from college was given the responsibility to create this pani puri seller business what he did was he created all the responsibility needed to be carried out for successful pani puri business in this single class where he mentioned placing the order helper method creating or preparing food helper method del- food delivery method and procurement and logistics related helper methods whenever this class goes in corrupt state then none of the responsibilities could be performed and this act as a shortcoming due to which we need to bring in single responsibility for each class and we need to segregate all of these into smaller and separate modules what i am trying to say let's see that live in action so this is what an experienced developer will always go for he will create a manager class that is basically responsible for keeping a check whether all the other sub modules are behaving appropriately or not we have four modules in total in parity with the previous problem statement that i just talked about the first module is food preparation one the other one is order placement module the third one is logistics and procurement module and the fourth one is delivery module now it is the responsibility of this manager class to check whether all of these modules are behaving appropriately or not and this is his only responsibility whenever any module goes in the corrupt state then it will not have any impact on rest of the modules they can continue to work in independence guys with this example we realize that there is striking similarity between the practical knowledge of a restaurant operating system and the so called theoretical knowledge for system design low level system design to summarize things up let's quickly walk through the benefits that we get out of single responsibility as the name suggest each module that is part of our entire system has a fixed responsibility defined for it what we have basically done we had a bigger problem we divided into separate modules and each module had has a single responsibility to take care of it it makes the system more resilient in nature if there is an issue in one module that module only needs to be updated rest of them can operate as it is in isolation with this the biggest advantage that we get is the ability to scale the system if it is not there then our system can never scale up and without scale there will be no revenues for any enterprise it's all going to be in vain if an enterprise cannot scale their system up now comes the time to set the right expectations if there is a newbie who has joined it sector what to expect from him whether he will go for this particular design or the one that i stated over here design b or design a i'll not be very harsh on the newbie if he or she has coded in this manner however i'll be really harsh if the reviewer has not caught his mistakes and has not made sure 
that the newbie goes and updates the design as per this roadmap. It's the responsibility of the reviewer and the senior folks in the industry to keep a tap on bad designs that go into the production pipeline. And there are times when you will yourself see that they themselves are writing bad code because there is time crunch. And whenever such equation or event occurs with you that due to time crunch, you have to go ahead and write bad code. Make sure that you create a story in backlog to get that code and design rectified later on as and when you get time. So guys, I'll give you one homework, which is if you are in IT sector, if you are a working professional, then go through your code and check whatever development you have done it in the past, whether there is a better way to do that development in terms of single responsibility. The same thing applies to college students out there. If they have worked on any project, then go and reiterate over your code that you wrote long time back and check whether you followed single responsibility over there or not. And if you didn't, then it's time to rectify that logic. This will act as a playground for you to become better designer in terms of code. With this, let's wrap up today's session. I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed it up. If you did, then please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. And next week, I'll see you with the second principle of solids, which is open closed extension. Take care. Goodbye. Tada.